We'll see you in just a few minutes. Of course, it's been a rough week for weather all across central Indiana, and we now know that five tornadoes touched down on Wednesday. We're taking a look right now at the damage in Howard County. That's the place hit the hardest. Chopper 13 HD showing you those images, and we just found out today that the destruction is actually worse, if you can believe that, than what we originally thought. Here's what we have learned today from the Howard County Emergency Management Agency. They say 81 homes destroyed. Another 173 have had major damage and are actually no longer livable. That is more than 250 families, all forced from their homes, left homeless by the tornadoes. And we've learned about 750 others have minor damage or have at least been affected some way by the storm. When you hear about that, you immediately think, what can we do? And of course, with the weekend upon us, you may be wondering if you can actually go to Kokomo, roll up your sleeves, and help clean up. Chad Priest, the Red Cross CEO, joins us here this noon. And I know you're getting ready to go up there and really take a look at the damage. Uh, for people who are wondering right now, what's something they can do to help, especially this weekend? Yeah, we, well, one thing they can do is volunteer. We are absolutely and currently recruiting volunteers. And the way to do that is to simply call our office. We have several trainings today, uh, both in Indianapolis and in Kokomo. Uh, I don't know the exact schedule over the weekend, but those will continue to occur. It's a, it's a very small amount of training that will put you in a position to come help out on the job. For those who can't volunteer who want to do something, a donation of cash either uh, by going to redcross.org or calling our office is always appreciated. Yesterday I saw so many people who actually stopped by. We're talking about people, corporations, who all came by that shelter opened up through the Kokomo events that are dropping off food and water. Is there still a need for that? And should folks kind of still look through their closets and pantries, for example, and bring aid? So we honor sort of the humanitarian spirit that drives people to donate items. The problem is when you donate things, what you create for aid workers is sort of a second emergency. Mm -hmm. Because now we're not just managing the folks who need help, we're managing all this stuff. Mm -hmm. Things of different size, things that can't be stacked in warehouses, and that actually increases cost. So our recommendation is stick with, uh, stick with cash or come and join us. Uh, we okay. can use your help. All right, so again, the big push here is for volunteers. Leave your items at home, as Chad That's just right. said, cash or your, your manpower, your volunteering. And to that end, if folks do come up to Kokomo and they go out there on the front lines helping in those communities, what should they be prepared to do? Well, you know, wear comfortable clothes, wear shoes you can walk in, bring a big heart. Most of the work involves putting your arm around a neighbor and letting them know that tomorrow will be just a little bit better than today. Uh, but there are jobs for all sorts of folks with all sorts of skills, ranging from bulk distribution, passing out items, to actually working in our shelter. Again, it depends on the level of training and what folks are wanting to do. Chad Priest, thank you so much for joining us so again. We know we're headed, you're headed up to Kokomo, and of course we'll be checking in with you throughout the day and much more information if you want to help out on WTHR.com.